What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Cool, coming to you from Colossal Box and Talk. And I'm back with another video. Interesting fight that is likely to take place in the super middleweight division, July 15th or July 22nd. And that is former middleweight champion and 168-pound titleist King Arthur Abraham facing the once-defeated Chris Eubank Jr., and this is a very intriguing matchup for both guys. Um, as you all know, Arthur Abraham is coming off of a win in a WBO title eliminator where he won the right to avenge his one of his five losses against Gilberto Ramirez. But smartly so, he declined that because, as you know, a few years ago in the undercard of Manny Pacquiao, Tim Bradley 3, Gilberto Ramirez thoroughly dominated Arthur Abraham winning the WBO title from the den champion, the power punching Abraham. And now, instead of taking a rematch with Ramirez, he set his sights on Chris Eubank Jr. And let's say this, neither fight um, is a fight that you would favor Abraham in. Honestly, he's going to be the overwhelming underdog, rightfully so, going into this fight. Arthur Abraham is known for his tremendous power, um, his great chin. He's fought a lot of top fighters. Andre Ward, Carl Froch, Andre Durrell, um, Gilberto Ramirez. The list goes on and on. Edison Miranda, he fought six rounds with a broken jaw, so the toughness is there. But as the years has progressed, chinks in his armor in terms of his chin has been, you know, exposed, wearing and tearing his body. And if you look at the matchup with Chris Eubank Jr., Eubank Jr. is very athletic, very fast, um, very sharp. He has good power. He's supremely confident. And I know this is a big step up uh, for him. I know he fought Billy Ho Sanders in his own long defeat, one of his rivals. And he's looking to make his mark. He, you know, he can fight at 160 or 168. And if you look at this, this matchup, the two guys' styles, you got to go with Eubank Jr. to win this fight because he's just simply too active, too fast, too tall, too strong, too young, too fresh. Um, he has every, um, you know, advantage over Arthur Abraham other than experience and probably power. You know, and that's what they say as you get up there in age, your power is the last thing to go. And although it hasn't gone yet, I don't see Arthur Abraham winning this fight. And this fight will take place in London. And that tells you everything you need to know about where Arthur Abraham is at in this point of, in, you know, in this point of his career. Because most fights he participated in took place in Germany. You know, he did come over here in the Super 6 tournament when he fought Andre Ward and Andre Durrell in their home states, respectively. And also, he fought Jermaine Taylor, you know, in Germany. But just throwing out another name of, you know, top guys he's fought. So, IBO champion <clears throat> Chris Eubank Jr. and Arthur Abraham, the WBO number one mandatory, will square off likely July 15th or July 22nd in London, which it will be a good fight. It's a good test. It's a good fight for Eubank Jr. to kind of add to his resume, gain experience. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Colossal Boxing Talk. Leave those comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this matchup. Follow us on Twitter at ColossalCBT. Head over to Facebook and smack that like bu uh, button on our, on our Facebook page, Colossal Boxing Talk. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.